If you want to know how to add a second layer, you have to pay attention to this tip. at Macme. I know the past few weeks we've been doing a lot of heart-shaped patterns just in time for Valentine's Day next week and we are continuing that with this tutorial and learning how to make a knotted heart-shaped pattern. This is a knot pattern you can incorporate to almost any macrame project, wall hangings, plant hangers, keychains, and more. And if you've paid attention or have made any of the heart patterns I've recently released, you may have learned how to end a pattern without fringe or know how to weave the ends through to create a fluffy texture. What's different about this heart-shaped pattern is that we included two rows of double half-inch knots instead of one. And to add the second row of double half-inch knots, there is something you have to pay attention to. So make sure you watch all the way through to see how that is done. If you are a beginner with macrame and you're not sure how to make the double half-inch knot, which is the knot we will be using to make the heart-shaped pattern in this tutorial, I'd recommend going over to boshinot.com and downloading our free 50 knots and sentence guide. It's a nice handy guide you can always refer back to while making your macrame projects. And with all of that said, let's jump right in. To make this pattern, I've used six strands of cord at approximately 200 centimeters each. We will be adding more cords and I'll be explaining that throughout the pattern. I've attached all six strands onto my dowel using Lark's head knots. And we're going to need a separate strand of cord for this. What we're going to do is divide the vertical cords in half and with the middle two cords on the left side, we're going to take our 200 centimeter strand of cord as an anchor cord, and then we're going to take those middle two vertical cords as working cords for two double half-ish knots onto the horizontal anchor cord. This means you skip the left two cords on the left and with the next two cords after, attach those onto the horizontal anchor cord. You do want the horizontal anchor cord here to have even ends on both sides. So once you're done the knots, pull on the sides of the anchor cord to make sure they are even. Once the two double half inch knots are made, we're now going to add two diagonal double half inch knots over to the left on the left side, and then two diagonal double half inch knots to the right on the right side. The pattern should curve like an upside down U once this part has been completed. Now that this side is complete with the upside down U, we're going to take another strand of 200 centimeter long cord and repeat the exact same thing onto the right side, mirroring what we just did on the left. Once the upside down U's are complete on both sides, what we're going to do is take those two anchor cords in the center, so one from each side, and we're going to make one more diagonal double half inch knot to the left. Now that we have finished the top part of the first layer of the heart, we're going to start with the second layer. So taking another 200 centimeter strand of cord, we're going to make another row of U-shaped double half inch knots on the left side. We're going to start on the left side, skipping the far left two cords as you can see, then taking the next cord, 
attach it onto the horizontal anchor cord with a double half inch knot. Then continue this all the way to the right, stopping after the middle left cord. It doesn't matter which double half inch knots in the row that you make first. If you do miss one on either side, add one so that you only have two cords left over on the left side. Then continue on to the right, stopping after the middle left cord. Now taking another strand of cord, repeat the same pattern on the right side. Skip the right two cords and then make a row of double half inch knots from right to left. Now connect the middle two cords again with another diagonal double half inch knot to the left. And we can now start to close off our inner heart. To do that on the left side, take that anchor cord and bring it over to the right. And we're going to start a row of diagonal double half inch knots to the right. Continue this pattern stopping after the middle left cord. Now repeat the same thing on the right side, bringing that inner anchor cord over to the left, make a row of diagonal double half inch knots, stopping after the middle right cord. Now finish off the bottom with a diagonal double half inch knot. Now to close off the outer layer, we're going to do the exact same thing, starting with the outer anchor cord on the left side, take the next cord right beside it and make a diagonal double half inch knot to the right. Then continue the pattern after all the way to the bottom. Now on the right side, repeat the same thing. Start with the anchor cord on the right and then continue with a row of double half inch knots all the way to the bottom.
Finish off with one more diagonal double half inch knot to the left in the middle. The heart shape pattern is now complete. You can continue this pattern downwards for a repetitive pattern if you'd like, or you can just add this to the center of your macrame pieces. And that's a wrap with our double row heart shaped pattern. I hope that you guys will be able to apply this pattern into your designs. And then also with the techniques learned, you can actually create other shapes and patterns as well. If you're interested in elevating your macrame skill set so that you can create your own macrame designs, we do go over that in more detail over on the Bochina Macrame community on Patreon. For more details, head on over to patreon.com slash bochina. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button to stay tuned to our latest tutorials as we have so many fun ones coming up soon. I hope you guys will have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.